get clever, Faye and I showed you different ways to learn about salt and fresh water. And we also showed you how to learn about the different animals that live in those environments. Right now, we're going to introduce you to a slimy genius. I'm going to check in with Faye. Faye, are you there? Hi, Lindsay. Yes, I'm here in Centennial Park with my friend John. Where are you? I'm in the Botanical Gardens. Where did you find your eel? Mine's in a freshwater pond. How about yours? I haven't found him yet, but I'm in a brackish pond. And if you remember from last time, brackish is a mix between fresh and salt water. I'm going to get in so I can have a closer look at the eels. I've got to put my legs over the side. And be careful not to slip in. Mine's much more likely to be a girl eel, and yours are much more likely to be boy eels, because girls prefer fresh water. Hang on a minute. Did you say that you're in the pond? Ooh, it feels weird. It feels all cold, yeah. Gross. Good luck. Ugh. Oh no, John, we've just lost our eel. Lindsay, we've just lost our eel. I'll check in with you later, Lindsay. Oh, I can feel things moving all around me. I'm a bit freaked out. Oh, oh I've got one! <laughs> oh, it's so slimy! Oh my goodness! It's not happy at all. It doesn't want to go in the bucket. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's one! Oh, it's a little one. It's lovely. Okay, hello, oh, lovely. So. Stephen, I caught an eel. Good. Hello, eel. Most underwater animals can only survive in either salt or fresh water. But eels, being the slimy geniuses that they are, can change and adapt to whatever water they're in. And here to tell us more is Dr. Stephen. Okay, we've got it. I'm holding it in my hands. It's very slimy. Well, part of the reason it's so slimy, it's got this oily stuff on its skin, like snot, and the slime's important. And that's because it helped these eels, which started out as eggs in New Caledonia, travel all the way from the Coral Sea off the northeast coast of Australia to the Botanic Gardens here in Sydney. And as those glass eels sail down the coast of New South Wales and Queensland, they start to fatten up and go into the bays. They become the teenage eels, and the teenage eels run up into the fresh water and they become adult eels. And as they grow, their gills change from a fine feathery gill to a thicker, fatter gill that can absorb hard to get oxygen from fresh water that they're going into. And as they can't become adults and their diet starts to improve, these fellas become spottier. Ooh. They become slimier. Ooh. And they develop their front gills. Then when they get onto land, not only... Land? A fish that goes on land? A fish that goes on land. Wow! Slimy genius. So I call it an adult eel. Yes, indeed you did. See how spotty it is? Wow, it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Thanks so much, Stephen. I, I better put it back. Bye-bye, eel. Thank you. 